Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today I'm going to be improving yet further on my fast passenger train by converting one of these carriages into a buffet car. Now these are all modifications for the high speed passenger train set 60051, uh, and in the past for that set I've already built a baggage car or mail car, depending on what you would rather call it. And I've also built a double-decker club car. But today I'm going to do the much more humble buffet car out of a regular length carriage. So this will be a lot uh, less difficult for you to do yourselves. You can also do it to any train you have, uh, regardless of its uh, set number or what color it is, just by changing a few of the colored pieces so they uh, match your train uh, better than this. Now, of course, LEGO have done quite a few uh, trains over the years, and a couple of them uh, that have been recent have had buffet cars of some sort. The most recent one is the dark blue train, which is set 60197, uh, which has uh, a buffet car kind of tucked in the end of one of its carriages. Uh, and that's all right. I quite like that one. Uh, it does block the train for people going into a, a later on carriage. So I like to think of that as being the one right behind the uh, engine car itself. And therefore, there is nowhere further to go. So, yeah, that's all right. Uh, and then there's the Horizon Express set 10233, uh, which is the orange train from 2013. Uh, and that does have one that you can pass by to continue going up the train. Uh, and it's kind of tucked in at one uh, corner in a way. Uh, so what I want to do is something uh, a little bit different from both of those and have a buffet car kind of right in the middle on one side. You can get past uh, in either direction and then use the remaining elements of the carriage on either side for some standing tables. So I think the first step is to deconstruct the current car all the way down to its basic chassis and then we can start uh, building things up uh, and have a lot more visibility of what we're doing inside. Right, well I've stripped that down so we're just showing the red stripe on the near side and the red stripe plus the first layer of white bricks on the other side. So we can see what we're doing. And I've just put all the rest of that to one side for now. And the first thing we're gonna to have to do is get rid of all these seats because we won't have any need for those in our buffet car, put those to one side. And unfortunately that reveals two great big holes in the uh, main chassis piece. So I'm going to take off the bottom, add in two two by four bricks, which can pretty much be in any color but I'm using white, and then add two two by two plates. So then when we put it back, those holes are filled and we've got a nice continuous flat surface to work with. Right, so the first stage I think is to build the actual buffet bar structure right in the middle for our man to stand behind. And uh, don't worry about the parts. I will be putting a parts list in the description of this video if you do want to do this yourself. And as I said earlier, if you want to uh, use it for a different train, that's fine. Just maybe mix up the colours a bit. So it's important to me that I continue this uh, red stripe. So the very bottom pieces I'm going to use here are going to be in red. And that's just a 1x6 tile and two 1x2 plates. And then for the next layer, I can use some white pieces. So two more one by two plates on the outsides. So it looks like that. And then I can add a one by one modified brick and a one by one normal brick onto each side. like so. And then I'm going to build the actual uh, structure that's going on the front. And that'll clip onto that using a studs on the side technique. So first of all, I'm gonna put him in place. 
and he can be working here. So I'm going to use these curved modified bricks, four of them, to hold a two by four tile in white. And you could even get a sticker or something like that to make that piece a menu perhaps, or maybe just to have the uh, logo of the train system, which is, you know, another one of these stickers or something like that, if you've got one free. So basically we've got a little set up like that. And then into the top, I'm just going to add one of these bracket pieces, which has uh, got two studs on one side and four on the other, like that. So it's kind of like he's got a little sort of table top. And I'm going to slide that whole thing onto those two studs we just made. And it will fit very snugly. Now the good thing about this is we've now got one and a bit studs of passageway here for people to get by. And I think that's good because there is enough room for somebody else to stand there if they were buying something like this and still have these sides of the car on. Uh, but also enough to sort of shimmy past. So I think that works really well. Now, I wanted to have some product uh, for sale as well. So I thought that this guy could be offering all sorts of things, maybe uh, packs of sandwiches or what have you, which I'm going to represent with these one by one tiles. And obviously you can use absolutely anything you have to hand. Uh, it doesn't have to be these colors. And I thought as well, I might have one in his hand, just maybe that's the one he's currently selling to somebody. So I can get him back in now, there we are. So there we go. So that is the first part of the build. And I think it's already looking rather swish with its red stripe continuing underneath and these lovely curved pieces. Now for the next bit, I'm gonna build up sort of behind him. And the main bit is gonna be using some one by two by two panel pieces in white, which are gonna sort of replace the same part that was in trans black or trans brown um, behind him. Because usually they don't have glass right behind the man himself. So I'm just gonna put three of those in exactly the same position that we would have had uh, three of the glass pieces as a starting point. Then I'm going to add a normal sort of small cash till type piece to one side. So that's where he puts all his proceeds. And then on the other side, I thought I'd put a coffee machine for all those early morning commuters. And I'd have that on this side. So that's quite a simple build. A one by two plate, a one by one plate, a one by one clear brick, and then one of those modified plates with tooth on it. So there we go. So then I need to start incorporating parts of the original set back. So adding the windows and so on. I'm just going to do this one side so we can see what's going on because I also want to add a little bit more stock kind of mounted on the wall behind him because he's not selling a great deal at the moment. Added too many of those. So I'll have three left, of course, because of the three I've added on. Right. So what I want to do is replace one of the one by four bricks with a one by two with studs and a one by one with a stud and then a normal one by one brick. And then onto that, I can mount some more tiles just in colorful uh colors just to add a bit more interest and these ones I thought might be bags of uh, peanuts or crisps or chips depending on your country uh, and they might just be on the wall there so you might have sort of salt and vinegar prawn cocktail and cheese and onion crisps or something like that that he can just reach over his shoulder and pull down a bag for you if you're peckish so then the next stage really is just to uh, add in the rest of that wall as it was before. Uh, and I'm going to have to start building the front wall because the doors at the end um, are going to start getting in the way. Now, one thing that's quite uh, important for this side 
is that I'm going to need the bits with the stickers on still, but on one by two bricks. Now, normally they come on one by eight bricks. You see, this one is an eight long brick. So you could move the uh, sticker from one piece to another using my patented hot tea technique. But if you don't want to do that, then it doesn't really matter because the uh, end carriages, so the one with the motor in and the other one at the other end, already have that brick with the sticker on uh, being too long. So what you can do is just swap the eight long bricks for the two long bricks and use some other bricks to make up the difference to kind of liberate two of these one by twos. And the reason why we want that is because we want to be able to create some gaps for some tables. So what I'm going to do is add uh, a brick in the middle that leaves us a six gap on each side. So I'm going to use an eight long brick there, leaving that gap of six on each side. And that's just so I can put in some curved tables. Now these are made using one of these six by two curved plates, and then four of these one by six plates. Oh, they're very hard joined together. There we go. So basically we just make a stack out of two of those and the curved piece like that. And we do that and build it into that white brick layer. So now you see why we needed the one by two one with a sticker on because it's exactly where the tables need to go. And I want to have those on the other side from the buffet. So we have this sort of pleasing passageway effect. You having to sort of walk round like that to get from one end to the other. And that means we've got this little lip of four studs sticking out twice once we build the wall back up. So we'd uh, put back all of the windows that we had before. Ooh. few more left. And this didn't come with the original set, but I've got some little second class and first class stickers that uh, actually are from another passenger train set from 2006, which is set 7897. So I just make sure I have that on the end. And then that is almost our finished interior. And I think you'll agree that's looking pretty good with tables on one side and our man selling stuff on the other. So the final bit is just to put in some uh, paying customers and have them eating some food. So I thought I could have one by two jumper plates in red because that's kind of the theme of this acting as plates. And one could have a croissant piece on it. So I could put that on one of the tables uh, and maybe have a man enjoying that. There we go. And then I thought on the other table I could have a little cream cake that somebody had bought. And maybe they're also enjoying a nice cup of tea. And that could be this lady who's got her bag as well. Maybe I'll get rid of the bag. And she's enjoying that selection. So there we go. So there is quite a bustling uh, scene for the inside of a car. And hopefully you'll notice that from the outside that there's a lot of different things going on in there. And there's also a clue on the outside, given that we've got these three white panels, that this is also a buffet car. Right, so all that remains now is to build up the rest of this from the pieces that we already had. So I can put the two ends on. And then I just need to get the right bricks for the top. So that there, that there. And 
and we've replaced that and then this side's pretty much unchanged okay then we can put the two ends on and our removable central section of roof on so you wouldn't necessarily know, apart from that clue on one side. But then you can remove the roof as usual and have a good peek inside. And I think you'll agree, that looks really good fun. Excellent. Now the last thing we might want to do is to make this even more obviously a buffet car from the outside. And we could do that by using some stickers. Uh, and one set of stickers that's very appropriate is from the more recent train, the 60197 passenger train, which is the dark blue one. And they've got these wonderful stickers with a Lego mug on. Uh, and I can stick these on the windows. Now, uh, if you uh, don't have this sticker sheet, you could try and buy it uh, from Bricklink. Uh, which is a reseller market. You can't get sticker sheets on their own directly from Lego. You could try eBay. But uh, if you have bought uh, uh, two copies of this train, as I have, then you'll find that uh, you have one set of them spare because you don't need two buffet cars on one train. So that's where I got them from. So I'm going to use these uh, to uh, put on the windows that I took out and replace a couple of these ones uh, in the corners and there we have it with this stickers on so I think that mug makes a lot of difference I've only added it to two of the corners so I can keep my second class sticker on the other end but you could add it to all four corners if you have four available or maybe share a sticker sheet with somebody else you know who wants to do the same conversion so I'm really happy with that I think the only thing that remains is to take this and all our other carriages that we've done uh, and put them on the train and see it going around my city, Brick Nottingham. Right, so here's our new buffet car in the city. That's part of the big white train, so let's get that going. Obviously it's a fast train, so it needs to be run quite quickly, so we might get quite dizzy following this. Yeah, but I think it's a good addition to the train. It just makes one of those carriages look slightly different. Running through the station. Oh yeah, very good indeed. Let's have a look at it coming over the bridge. Oh, fantastic. And there's the white train and the tram on its raised track. And then the white train going under the castle. Yeah, fantastic. Looking really good. Fantastic. Here it comes. Can you spot the buffet car? There it was. You missed it.
Ooh. <laughs> Here's the tram coming into the station and the fast train with its buffet car ploughing through the station and here comes our cargo train Fantastic! And how's that for a bird's eye view? Looking pretty good. Fast train speeding around the bottom there. Hopefully you can pick out the uh, buffet car. And then we've got the super long cargo train along the outside. And the tram just coming into the station. Very good. Loving that. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment and most importantly subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks we'll be doing a dedicated video to my patented hot tea technique. Which is a technique I use to move, correct and fix LEGO stickers. So do stay tuned for that. See you then!